In this video, we're going to cover how you can install Emacs on Ubuntu using the default package management utilities. The first thing we need to do is understand the installation options which are available for Emacs on Ubuntu. I'm showing you this demo from an Ubuntu 16.04 LTS release. Open up a terminal and run apt-get update to update your packages index. Once the packages index has been updated, we can run apt-cache show Emacs to see the information about the Emacs package. You can see that an installation of Emacs is satisfied if you install the package Emacs 24 or Emacs 24-Lucid or Emacs 24-NoX. By default, if you just choose to install the package named Emacs, it will install the first one. You only need to choose to install one of these three packages. Essentially, you should either install the default Emacs package if you're installing Emacs on a machine with graphical support, or the NoX option if you're installing it on a server. Don't bother with the Lucid package, it's just an alternative for those who are used to the look and feel of X Emacs. For more information about these packages, and the history of GNU Emacs, Lucid Emacs and X Emacs, check out my other video on the subject. You can see from the information about the meta package that it is version 46.1. This is the version of the meta package, not the version of Emacs itself. To see the version of Emacs, you can run the command with the actual package name rather than the meta package name. Because the command produces quite a lot of output and all we want to know is the version number, we can just pipe the output to the grep command and search for the string version so that the only line shown will be the line showing the Emacs version number. The versions of Emacs for either of these packages will be exactly the same regardless of whether or whether or not you require graphical support. So, apt cache show Emacs 24 shows us that the package version is 24.5. apt cache show Emacs 24-NoX shows us that the package version is indeed the same for the version of Emacs without graphical support. The packages available on an Ubuntu machine follow Ubuntu's release policy. Effectively this means that unless there is an exceptional circumstance, such as a security vulnerability being found, the version of Emacs which you can install using the default Ubuntu package management tools is basically fixed. If you really need a version of Emacs which is different to the one provided by Ubuntu's default package management facilities, then you could always build and install it from the source code directly. But doing this is beyond the scope of this video. Now that we know which version of Emacs is available, we can go ahead and install it. The first thing to do is run sudo apt get update to update the packages index. Then run sudo apt get install emacs24 to install emacs. If prompted, type y to confirm you would like to install and then hit enter. Once installed, you can run emacs by typing emacs in the terminal. The procedure for installing Emacs on a server is largely the same, except we are going to install the dash no x package rather than the default one. Like for the desktop, as the first step, run sudo apt-get update to update the package index. Then run sudo apt-get install emacs24 no x to install Emacs on the server. If prompted, type y to confirm you would like to install and then hit enter. Once installed, you can run Emacs by typing Emacs in the terminal. To exit Emacs, you will need to type the key sequence Control X, Control C. That's it. You now understand how you can go about installing Emacs on Ubuntu. Go with the default package if you're running with graphical support and the dash no x package if you're installing Emacs on a server. If you want to see more helpful tips and tricks on Emacs, be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos available on my channel.